All right, guys, point values are triple. Top four answers on the board. Name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's... Candy? Candy? Got lucky on that one. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is a game of luck and guesses. Here's the whole question, Connor. <laughs> Name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's. Their hand? Their hand. <laughs> yeah, your hand. <laughs> Something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's? Um, spit. <laughs> Do it all the time. <laughs> Every chance I get, swap spit with Marjorie. <laughs> Steven, name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's. I would say a cigarette. That's right. A cigarette! A cigarette. Nikki, we've got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. But if it's not there, the other family can steal and win. Name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's. How about a toothbrush? You better know it. Yes. Yes. Toothbrush! Jordan, yes. one answer left. If it's there, your family wins the game. If it's not there, you have two strikes. The other family can steal, and they will win the game. Jordan, name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's. What about a straw? Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Wow. That's a good answer. This is for the win. A straw. Oh. Family. I have no idea what this one is, but there's one answer left, one answer only. This is real simple now. If it's there, your family steals, your family wins the game. If it's not there, the Hedgecall family wins the game. One answer does it all. Here we go. Name something you wouldn't want to put in your mouth after it's been in someone else's. Uh, we're going to go with a drink. A drink! Number three. Your ass on YouTube. Your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. Oh my dear gracious. <laughs>